Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the... Wow, what video are we on? That's right, the 37th tutorial for LAMP. Wow, it's hard to believe we've done 37 of these. PHP has really, really grown with PHP 5 because they've added in object-oriented programming. Um, if you've been watching along, we've been going over a lot of object-oriented programming, or OOP, or OOP, as it's called. Uh, my daughter calls it OOP. I don't know anybody else that really does. Anyways, um... Today we're going to be discussing class abstraction. Now what's an abstraction? You ever have a, a daughter or a son or maybe a wife or a husband that's been gone for a while and they walk in the door and you go, where were you? And they go, well, I went to this place and met these people and this thing happened and da da da, but they don't get real specific. That's what abstraction is. So we're going to make a abstract class. and we're going to call it a person. Now, notice the keyword abstract. What abstraction does is it allows us to actually define things without actually defining them. So we'll say abstract and abstract public function hello now we can also do a normal function mm -hmm. actually I don't need to concatenate it had a very long day at work. You ever just have one of those days where you just want to, you know, come home and, I don't know, punch a hole in the wall and kick the cat and all that stuff, but you're not a violent person, so you just end up being lazy about it and don't do any of it? It's kind of the day I've had. All right, so we've got our abstract class here. It's called a person, and we have an abstract function. See, abstract public function, say hello. Now, notice how it's a function, and we even have a visibility modifier on it, but the code block's missing. Instead, it's been replaced with this semicolon. With an abstract class, you don't actually have to define anything. Now, why would you want to do this? Now, if you're making some sort of template, like this is a person, and if they say anything, quote unquote, they want them to always say anything, but we want the classes that derive from this class, you know, classes that extend it, to say hello differently. So we'll say class employee, and we need to actually extend we're going to extend the person class here now because this is an abstract class notice how it says e fatal error one extract method one abstract method must be declared meaning we have to implement this so what we do now is we just say We are not implementing that abstract function from the abstract class. And then we can just say echo. And what would an employee say? Yes, master. Let's actually make a manager. And managers always say weird things like do my bidding. So this is an abstract class. It's abstract because we have at least one abstract function. It's abstract because we have not defined a code block. In other words, this is a great way of doing templates. Now we have a employee class that extends person and we're implementing the say hello function. And we also have a manager class that extends person, and we're implement implementing the say hello function again. But they do two totally different things, even though they come from the same class. So that's a little bit of abstraction for you. We can test this out a little bit by just saying, uh, mm hmm, we'll see. Call this imp for employee.
and then uh, man hmm yes I forgot case sensitive here hello like I said been one of those days There we go. So we're going to have the employee say hello. And then we're just going to have the manager say hello. So as you can see, they do two totally different things, even though they extend the same class. That's also called overloading, but we're not there yet. We'll get to that in a different tutorial. So for this tutorial, you should just know what class abstraction is. An abstract class is a class that has one or more abstract functions. You know it's abstract because it does not implement the code block. It just says, here's a semicolon. Semicolon keeps the compiler happy. And then you extend that class, and then you have to implement those abstract functions. If you don't implement them, bad things happen. Compiler won't compile it, and actually it's not even compiler with PHP. The interpreter won't interpret it, and it'll throw an error. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found this educational and entertaining, and thank you for watching.